My name's Roger, sir. May I be of some help? That's funny. My name's Roger. Two Rogers don't make a right. <laughs> Roger, I have a problem. Yes. I've been in L.A. for three months now. I have money, I have taste. But I'm not on anybody's A-list, and Saturday night is the loneliest night what of the What are you week. doing, babe? I'm watching Gone in 60 Seconds. Again? Yes, again, because I like this scene. He's looking for one of the rarest Mustangs out there. He doesn't want to be a self-indulgent wiener. He wants to be a connoisseur. But That's you're not what I want to be. But you're not watching the movie. You're watching that scene over and over now, again. I love this scene. I was driving. A 1967 275 GTV 410. He would not be a self-indulgent meaner, sir. Here it is. He'd be a connoisseur. Precisely. Champagne would fall from the heavens, doors would open, velvet robes would part. I don't have one here. However, I do have one in the warehouse. Superb. What else do you have in the warehouse? I love it. I love it. How can I be a carnosaur at Mustang Week? Hmm. Hey, may I help you, sir? Yes. As you know, Mustang Week is next week. Yes, sir, I do. There will be thousands of Mustangs running around, and I really need to stand out. You could definitely stand out with something like this. You think so? I don't know, man. Just the other day, I saw three of these parked outside of the Starbucks. And at Mustang Week, there's probably going to be 20 or 30 of them, you know? All these self-indulgent Mustang owners running around in these. Let's just say I had an 86 Mustang GT convertible in yellow with a saline wing. Well, sir, you would not just be a self-indulgent Mustang owner. You, sir, would be a connoisseur. That's right. Champagne would burst open, confetti would fall from the ceilings, and I would stand out in the crowd of 4,000 Mustangs. That is for sure. Do you have one? I may have one in the warehouse. Ah, what else do you have in the warehouse? Alrighty guys, you know I'm silly. Welcome back to the Silly Channel. I have always been wanting to do, that is my favorite scene of Gone in 60 Seconds, is that whole Ferrari scene and, and I was just I just want to do something crazy, and the people at um, Lejeune Honda, they're even crazier than me because they went along with that. You And at the end of the video, you can get some more information from him about Lejeune Honda. So, let's get right straight to it. Mustang week is starting September 5th, and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. I know y'all ain't going to be able to see this, and I couldn't get a good copy of this, but I will read it to you. This is everything going on. This is why I love Mustang week, because... Last year, Mustang Week was canceled because of COVID, the 2020. And me and my wife went down, and I said, hey, let's let's stop at this mall. We're pulling to the mall, and there's a there's a show going on, a cruise in. I'm like, I didn't even know about this, because I knew about seven different things that we did last year. But anyway, this year, you need to be there. If it, it's it's, I know it's going to be hard for anybody to get off uh, work now. It's it's kind of late. I was wanting to get this video up last week, could not do that. But anyway. Here is the deal. Here's what's going on. It's like that. You got, you, you know how you go into uh, an amusement park and you see that one ride you've always been wanting to do. That's like going to the Shelby America setup or the Saline setup. And you're like, ooh, I want to go over there. But then on your way there, you see, oh, wait, there's something here. Check out these cool hats. Check out the snow cones. Check out the candy apples. You know, check out all this food. And it's just distractions. That's how it is at Mustang Week. Like, okay, I'm going to go to the... Shelby America thing, or I'm going to go to the autocross and watch them drift and do all that. And then all of a sudden, on your way there, you're like, oh my goodness, you know, there's a fox body meat I didn't even know about. That's what happens here. And forgive my lighting, I'm in my man cave. Anyway, here it is, Sunday the 5th. Uh, there is a SES and BMR MG cruise in at the World of Beer, Highway 17 North. After hours means it's not officially a Mustang week. It's not put on by Mustang week, but after hours means it's something somebody else has threw in there. Kickoff party at the Hard Rock Cafe on Monday. That is sponsored by Mustang Week Crowd. That's a big cruise in. Everybody comes in. Everybody's getting all happy about it. Tuesday, you got a meet and greet at Broadway at the beach. Presented by Croftgate. Cobra Sam's Pit Stop Meet is at the Beaver Bar after hours. It starts at 5 p.m. So, yeah, Merle's Inlet. You've got a couple bars down there. Um... That are, that are right down the road from each other, and they always, just about every night, there'll be people there. Um, every night, there'll be people at Broadway at the beach. 
near the old Hard Rock Cafe. Um, just every night there's something somewhere. Usually three, four different things going on. If you don't like, you know, if Fox Bodies ain't your thing and Terminator Cobras are, there's, there's some of those here. If you want to go see the Shelbys from Shelby America, they bring their 18-wheeler load in with some of the awesome cars, you know, the original GT500s from 67, 68, the, the new stuff. They'll be there. Uh, here's one called Peace Loving Mustangs, a meet and greet at Berkey's. Um, and you can find this on the Mustang Week uh, Facebook page. Then Wednesday, Mustang and Coffee is presented by Stiflers. That is at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. That's the main show. That's where the main show is. That's Wednesday, uh, BF Goodrich Autocross School. Um, from what I understand, they did move that to here. So, yeah, from 10 to 1. And then from 2 to 5, they're going to have an autocross school. At the Myrtle Beach Convention Center, probably one of the big parking lots. That should be awesome if you've always wanted to do that. All right, I'm back. Uh, Wednesday night, you got the retro meet. Uh, I think Harris Lou and some other guys helped put that on. Some of the guys out of Charlotte. And that is, you know, retro. We're going to do a flashback. Fox Bodies. That's what that sounds like to me. I've, I'm not going to be there Wednesday. I will be getting there Thursday, it looks like. So... That is a good show, though. That's down at um, Merle's Inlet at Suckbang Blow. Steed of Meat is at Mustang Week from 12 to 3. So there's your Steed of stuff, people who like the Steed of products. Uh, Modern Muscle Performance Meat will be at the Hooters. And it is from 8 p.m. to midnight. And that is going to be your newer car. So, yeah, your modern, modern muscle stuff. Thursday, Mustang Week, Test and Tune. That is a Mustang Week sanctioned event. Uh, after hour stuff. Thursday morning is the Guinness World Record attempt. It is at Broadway at the Beach. 1325 Celebrity Circle from 6 o'clock in the morning till 9 a.m. So yeah, got to be lined up. They're going to try and beat the Germans, I think it is, or Europe. Somewhere over there had 1,300 and some odd number Mustangs, so they're trying to get that record here in America. This is where the Mustang was born. But anyway, we'll see about that. Ah, uh, Coffee and Suds is an after-hours event. It's 8 a.m. to 11, so there's a morning meetup at 201 75th Avenue. Not sure where that is, but, you know, they, they don't have an actual name of any place there. There is a Terminator meet um, on Thursday night also from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And I think there's going to be a Fox Bodies at the Beach is going to be meeting at the Beaver Bar Murals Inlet. So there's another Fox Body specific deal. I think it's Thursday night. Pretty sure it's Thursday night. It's either Thursday night or Friday night. Uh, you'll probably have to look up Fox Bodies at the Beach to find that one out. Um, Mustang Week Car Show at Myrtle Beach Convention Center. Yes. That is a good one. That is the show. The show. That's where everybody gets their junk cleaned up. Not junk. No, no. I mean, I've seen some nice stuff there. Original owner, 68 GT500, you know, one, one owner. These people bought this car brand new and still have it, and it's still clean, still awesome. Every Everything. Everything you think of from the factory 100 horsepower inline six, springtime edition Mustang, all the way up to the brand new stuff wrapped, shining, chromed out, all factory. It doesn't matter. It's going to be there. It's real. So yeah, that is Friday. That is actual show with the judging and everything. That is, oh man, 1,500 cars in that show. And then 4,000 more probably roaming around, running all over the place. Mustang Mafia meet is going to be at the Beaver Bar on Friday night. And there's always going to be Broadway at the beach every night. There'll be people at Broadway at the beach that don't go anywhere else. So, there you go. Saturday, the last official day of it, Mustang Week is hosting the Mustang Week Cruise In and Myrtle Beach Convention Center presented by Saline. Steve Saline probably going to be there. Last year, well, I think because of COVID, he weren't. But the year before that, I did get to see him a few times. He's out there Judd handing out trophies. He does the trophy presentation for, uh, for the show. Um, Fox Mustang Restoration, yes. Matt and Jen at Fox Resto are putting on the Fox Body Cruise. 6.30 to 8 a.m. I'm going to have to get up early next Saturday morning on my, on my vacation. But I don't mind because I love getting in the midst of about 150 plus Fox Bodies and cruising into the show. I get to see y'all. A lot of people that I've met over the years. So looking forward to that cruise. 
it is at the Save More Superstore. But like I say, go to Mustang Week on Facebook and check out this. That'll give you all the addresses for your GPS because I don't know my way. I know my way around Myrtle Beach. I don't know my way to every spot that all this is happening. There are other meets other than this. I heard there's going to be a YouTube meet on for all the YouTube people. Uh, that might be Friday, I think it was, at the Hooters. Same time as the Mustang Mafia meets going on over there at Beaver Bar. So, there's something to do for everybody. And, let me get me some better lighting. There we go. I'm in my man cave. Um, I hope to see you there. I know this is a bunch of babble. I hope you enjoyed that intro. I'm crazy. I love, I just love editing and, and doing crazy stuff. But, um check out Lejeune Honda. I do appreciate them for, they moved cars for me. They were almost about to put that Mustang inside the building just so we could make it look exactly like the Ferrari dealership in the movie. I'm going to put his video clip up right here behind this because I told him I would and because they were so gracious to me and so kind to me and if you're ever looking a, a new car, a used car, they got them. They've got some good used cars and some good new cars so check them out if you will. And I'm going to get off here and quit babbling because I know a lot of you are like, thank goodness. Enjoy the exit. I will see you there at Mustang Week. If you see me yell at Yellow Fox Body Guy, make sure I want to wave at anybody who knows me. It's just, it's going to be a lot of fun, y'all. I'm looking forward to it. I will be bringing footage to you. God bless you all. Peace. Hey, you know what? This video is brought car. to you by... The, the, the cool staff here at Lejeune Honda in Jacksonville on North Ray Boulevard here in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Come, come by see me, Ricky, see the rest of the guys here. And we also have a young lady as well, Taylor. We're here seven days a week, six days a week. Sorry, not seven. Thank you. <laughs> 20 or 30 of them, you know, all these self-indulgent Mustang owners running around in these. You would not be a self-indulgent Mustang. You'd be a connoisseur. Yes, but I have to bring up I had an Yeah. Good enough. Well, let's cut. Okay, let's start there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I had up. an 86 GTO convertible. I'm going to start right there, and I think I'll have it. Well, let's just say. You record? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Actually, <laughs> let's just say I had an 86 GT convertible painted yellow with a saline wing. Well, sir, you would not be a self indulgent Mustang owner. You, sir, would be a connoisseur. That is right. Confetti would fall from the heavens. <laughs> Champagne would rain around everywhere, and we're gonna record that part again. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, somebody take pictures of this camera. Do you want to do what? <laughs>